Hi guys, SDJR Senef88 speaking with an update and planning video for the Compton Martin Model Railway Exhibition 2014. Now as you know, after the massive success of the last year's event, I'm already started to plan and organise um, the uh, another one uh, for this uh, summer. Now um, basically, um, this video is going to be uh, like a sort of telling you what I've uh, pl you know, um, you know, what information I've got so far, but you know, what I've planned so far, or hoping to, um, you know, what was hoping to happen, and also I want a bit of your input on you know, um, whether you could bring your layout and stuff. So anyway, let's get it, it right in there. Uh, the venue will be uh, Big Riches at the Clock Tower Cafe, uh, same as last year, in the two upstairs rooms, and hopefully uh, downstairs as well. We'll be hopefully taking over part of the restaurant downstairs, uh, so we can get more layouts in. Uh, which is excellent because um, last year we had it uh, all was all it was all upstairs. We managed to get all the layouts in, but yeah, there was not much room for uh, more layouts. Let's just say there were room for maybe one or two. But um, judging on my first video, which I planned uh, well just just before Christmas, which I uploaded just before Christmas, I think it was, uh, I had quite a bit of feedback, and I counted up, and there was around seventeen layouts wanted to come. Um, now I'm not sure if they were, if you could if you could all make it for sure. But um, with, but hopefully with the downstairs of now available, we should be able to get everybody in. Um, as what else? Uh, the date now I've narrowed it down to a couple of days, but there's one date that is sticking out uh, for sure. Uh, that looks probably the best bet, and that is Sunday the twenty seventh of July, which is for anybody that's in education. That's in the summer uh, holidays, I think. Uh, but also, it's it's yeah, well, it's directly in the summer, so hopefully people will be going on holiday, which means if you uh, want to get to the exhibition, but you live quite a distance away, it gives you sort of the opportunity to travel to the event. Um, so yeah, the Sunday the 27th will be the actual day of the event, hopefully. Uh, do put any suggestions of a better date, but the reason why I have, I have said the 27th is, as I've just mentioned, it's in the summer break, you know, more people can get away, and plus two people that would like to come with their layouts, which have two excellent layouts, uh, or, are, are, uh, or are being created at the moment. And um, one of them is It's City 3000, and he um, basically brought his layout last year. He had the largest layout there, and he's building a new layout, which um, is currently underway. And also we have um, uh, Thomas. I've Sorry, I've forgotten your username, but I know it's um, after a, a pannier. I've got a funny feeling uh, the number is after a pannier, but Thomas anyway. And he's planning on bringing his layout, and he's got quite a tight... They've both got quite tight schedules over the summer break, and are only, a label, uh, only able to um, display their layouts on that date. So that date is looking the best at the moment. The only downside with that date is that there are two uh, preserved railway galas on on the same day. I've got a funny feeling the Gloucester and Warwickshire Railway is running a diesel gala on that day and that um, the East Somerset Railway are organising their uh, Mendip Steam Gala on that day, which I love going to that event. And um, I'm afraid that well, I probably won't be able to make it to that event uh, because of this. Because um, set up um, for the for this event will be able to if you're you're coming quite a distance, you'll be able to set up your layouts on the Saturday. So I'll have to be there um, to make sure that all the layouts are in and make sure the rooms are in the right condition for um, you to set up your layouts. So uh, that's the plan. So I'm sacrificing going to a gala for this event, but it'd be well worth it. So that's looking the best date. Uh, any suggestions on any other dates, uh, please, uh, you know, before that, let's just say, uh, not after, because as we know, um, you know, Jack and Thomas won't be able to make it and they've got two beautiful layouts. So, um, yeah, so any dates before then uh, would be very much um, appreciated. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, uh, now, uh, actually, uh, for your input, I was just wondering, uh, leave a comment below uh, about what you think and also... Um, whether or not you would like to bring your layout. Now, I know quite a few of you are planning to come a quite a distance with your layouts, you know, judging by some of the comments on my last video. Uh, and, like, you know, we've got Scotland, uh, we've got Yorkshire, well, I think we've got, we've got Brighton as well, uh, Brighton area. So, yeah, quite a distance. Um, and, we've got, of course, we've got Pool and Exeter sort of way as well. But, um, basically, this is also to say to just to make sure that if you've got that date free in your diary, let's just say the 27th for now, uh, make sure you keep that cl uh, clear and make sure if you're coming in a distance, you can actually make it with your layout, if you know what I mean. So say if you're coming quite a distance, it'd probably be best to actually book um, like a, a room down here 
um, you know, accommodation down here so, so you can actually stay the night because um, I know from uh, like Yorkshire it's at least a four hour journey uh, and obviously the exhibition starts at, will most likely start at around nine or ten um, and obviously that means you have to travel down, you know, it'll take you probably about an hour to set up or something and also then it's probably about a four hour journey time so that means you'll probably have to set off, set off from home at like three o'clock in the morning or something stupid so um if, if you're coming quite a distance i would highly recommend uh booking accommodation um so yeah it makes it a hell of a lot easier and also if you are booking accommodation you can set up the layout your layout the day before uh i.e you come in on the saturday i'll i'll, I'll tell you a time closer to the date if you yeah, if it goes ahead um on that you can come in on the saturday and actually set up while i set up my layouts and all that up in there sort of thing um, so yeah, because I know that Jack would probably want to set up his layout on the Saturday, uh, which is brilliant, you because know, it gives us something to do, and also it means that you know we can help other people set up their layouts on the morning uh, if they're coming you know from a shorter distance. And uh, now on to the final thing, which is obviously uh, leave your comments below if you can actually uh, bring your layouts. Uh, I'm not sure if I've, I've ever mentioned that before. I've, I've totally it's totally slipped my mind. But anyway, leave a comment below if you could bring your layout for sure. So make sure you 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 have dates free. Uh, and uh, you're not just saying, oh yeah, I could bring my layout, when really, you know, it's, it's not a possibility. So um, I know it's quite a long way away, and I know that things do change, but it'd be nice to know that you know, that you that you, there is a a, a good uh, chance that you can make it with your layout, basically. You know, there's still plenty of times so you could say, oh, I can't make it, sort of thing, but it'd be just good to know people that, you know, are thinking about coming, and also, you know, know that they could probably can make it, which would be brilliant, because that's the main thing for this event. You know, we've got to have layouts. Because at the moment there's um, one, two, three, four layouts know that they're coming. And that includes uh, Compton Martin. As uh, Compton Key won't be going this year. Because uh, me and my friend will be both operating Compton Martin together. Which would you know, we'd be better running. And also uh, better, um, you know, it'd just be you know, good. Because my, my, my friend was opera operating Compton Key last time. And he was over the other side of the room. Which is sort of a bit annoying sort of thing. So, um, uh, you know, you know. For for him and also for me having him over there, so basically we'll be both operating the same layout, um, and also yeah, but it'd just be better running on the layout. So yeah, that's the plan for this year, which means there's more rooms for another layout basically. So anyway, um, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this update, and please do leave your comments below. I know it's the same old footage from last year's event again, but then again, what better footage can you put uh, to the back of a video about the event? You know, sort of gives it anybody that hasn't seen uh, the, uh, my video, come to the come to my model railway exhibition, or wants to get a rough idea of what it was like last year. Uh, a, yeah, pretty good um, insight into what it was like. So uh, that's all for now. Um, I think I've covered everything. Oh, one th one more thing I forgot to mention. There's also uh, a topic because I'm on RM Web, which is a model railway forum. And basically, um, if you um, there's a post on there which is about the Compton Martin Model Railway Exhibition. And also on um, uh, Facebook, there is a Compton Martin Model Railway Exhibition Facebook page. So please do check that out, as that will those will most likely have all the up to date latest information on there uh, for any of you who want to know more. Um, you know, rather than waiting for the next update video to come out. So anyway, uh, this is all for now. I'm sure there will probably be a bit of a while to the next video, but yeah, it was just getting together, you know, putting, setting the wheels in motion for the event. So uh, I think that's all about. That's about it for now. So anyway, thank you for listening, and please leave your comments and opinions below. And uh, this has been SDJRSNF88 speaking, and uh, thanks for watching.